Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the Gray Drake Spinner. I believe Ed McCoy of Michigan came up with this fly pattern several years ago. It's a variation of a parachute dry fly in that the front and rear sections of the hackle are cut out from the parapost to form a pair of spinner wings. I think it tends to float kind of low in the water. Should be a great fly to fish. I have not fished it myself. Here's the fly in the vise. So the hook we have in the vise today is a TMC 100 BL size 12. That's the barbless version of their standard dry fly hook. And our thread is Danville's 6 aught fly master in the color wine. We'll start our thread about a hook eye behind, hook eye length behind the hook eye, and wrap back to the bend of the hook to about the point the barb would be, which is where we'll tie in our tail. Tail for this fly is just going to be some moose body hair. We'll cut several strands from the hide, clean out all the shorts and fuzzies, get it in a stacker, even the tips up. Yeah, we want this to be, oh, a hook length. Tie that in on top. A couple of loose turns is where we want it. Wrap our thread forward. Capture the most body hair. Some nice tight turns. And tight turns. And just before we get to the base, another loose turn. If you take it too tight, you'll flare those out. Doesn't look as good. Wrap back forward, cut off our excess. Body for this fly is just gonna be some natural colored deer hair. We just need a real small pinch of this. We just want enough material to be able to cover the hook shank. So we'll select a little bit, get rid of all the short fuzzies, get it in a stacker to even up the tips. And that's easily twice what I need. Take some of that away. We want this to extend back just to the bend of the hook. So we'll hold the deer hair on top, take a couple of loose turns, and then with our fingers, manipulate that hair around the hook. Once we've done that, we can take some open spiral turns, not very tight, don't wanna crush everything back to where the end of the body is. Now some open spiral turns back forward. Gives us some nice segmentation to the body. Cut off our excess. We'll neaten that up some. Next, we're gonna tie in the parapost. That's some McFlylon uh, Polypro, and the color is pink. And you can see that it comes out in these hanks, and we need one that's about half of that thickness. So I have done that, and we're gonna tie this on top with some X-wraps. I'll reposition our hook here to make this a little easier. And we're just gonna take some wraps up the post and then back down. Reposition our hook. A few more turns just to add some strength to that post. Okay, so for our wing, we're gonna use a uh, grizzly hackle feather and wrap that up the parapost. The uh, hackle feather should be about two hook sizes bigger than the hook you're tying. So we're tying a 12. This hackle feather is a eight. Cut some material off on either side of the stem and tie that in. And wrap that up the hook or up the um, post back down. And we want our thread to be 
in front of the post like that. And now we're going to wrap that hackle down the post. Probably easier to do if I turn this. Take a lot of turns here. We want this to be nice and thick. position our now we're gonna take three turns around it to capture our hackle bring our thread forward to the eye move my head or, uh, make four or five turn whip finish Seat our knot, cut our thread, cut off any of the captured hackle that we have. Got our excess. I like to take a drop of Zappa Gap and put it on the tip of a bodkin, and take a swipe across the base of that post like so, that won't go anywhere. Now to form the spinner wings, we're going to remove the hackle from the front and the back of the fly. And the parapost, we you can make that any size you want. I like to pull it back to about where the back of the hook is, and cut it off. And just a drop of Loon's head cement. And our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.